this, this is Balloon Star Defense 5 and this is how you usually supposed to, you know, play the game with monkeys and support units as track shooters that seem to be able to get the win. However, what would happen if we took out the monkey path from Balloon Star Defense and switch it with non-monkey units to try to beat this game? And when I say game, I mean like one level on hard. That, that's what I mean by game. <laughs> And from the Titan, from there you can essentially guess that I'm going to be trying this video trying to beat Monkey Lane on hard difficulty, only using Spike Factories, I think that's the name of the uh, tower. I, I think I previously got an attraction this one, I had Spike Factory, and, and let's just say I did not have fun making this video at all. But I should mention that there's going to be rules in this video, and when I say that I'm going to be using Spike Factory, that those means I can essentially you know, use the spike figure magic that you can use essentially to pop balloons because spike factory generates spikes and those are spikes so I think it should be reasonable for me to use them. And that's why I'm allowing my specific to use like other supporting towers like Monkey Village and uh, Banana Farm for essentially you know, trying to help me out with this challenge. I mean, I'm not going to use either of these towers in this video, but I just thought I mentioned that essentially, you know, I'm allowing to use them in the challenge, just so I <laughs> never use them in this video. <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, let, let, let's actually, you know, begin this challenge. So, hopping into the first game of the challenge, which I'm recording, I already came to a bit of an issue, and that is the Spike Factory costs way too much on heart, and normally, I wouldn't be able to apply it on the first round. So in this specific game as I'm watching, I actually try to spike my way essentially for the first few rounds and the money that I get from you know every round I kind of got then the spike factory, but then later on I decided to essentially take the balloon scale, but in this specific game I decided to stall out essentially until I get the money for spike factory. And in around three I was finally able to purchase the spike factory, was able to like carry me throughout the, like the few rounds. And the piss play essentially to play the spike factory was at near the end or you know, somewhere near the end, so essentially it could place as much spikes as possible for the balloons to get through. Instead of like putting the front way, it could barely get any spikes down and it was able to get through. That's my want to be using a spike factory. Let it be like somewhere near the end so you can like stack up the spikes if you're using this. I mean, I, I don't know why I'm saying this. I mean, you probably guys probably know about the strategy. I'm the only guy who doesn't know about it, so. <laughs> I feel like I'm smart for saying this, but I'm not. Somewhere around round 12, I said to level my spike factory to have a hot red spike so I can deal with lead balloons. And that's kind of one of my mistakes which I did throughout this game is that instead of prioritizing popping power, having as much spike as possible to pop, I have to prioritize for something which I'm not going to be seeing for the next 10 rounds. So that's definitely something which I decided to, you know, think it's going to show essentially how to essentially get improving moving forward. But around round 15, I tried to get another spike factory to kind of double my popping power, so at least you know, I did that to improve my popping power. <laughs> As the game was going forward, I decided to, instead of prioritizing and having more spike factories to level up the coins, which I do have to certain points. After I was done properly leveling up the second spike factory, I decided to purchase a third one at round 32, which is extremely late in the game. However, it's not too long before I die in this game. After I was done leveling up that spike factory, around round 37, I decided to purchase a fourth one to hopefully get that one up to speed. But, but uh, I, 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 I got overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that kind of happened. I probably could have got some like road spikes and maybe saved myself from that. I... So the first game is definitely going to the bin hole. All right, this is game two. This time around, essentially, I'm going to kind of like try to speak for essentially how I lost on this which I did in this game because the photo just kind of looks I, I don't want to you know make this like half an hour video but as you can see in this game essentially I decided to first round immediately get all the balloons let through so essentially I do have like enough money for spike factory but that means that throughout the game I would have started you know, the half the amount of life that I would have started in hard mode that was an ideal but I think the money was worth it I say the money is worth it while me still ended up with the first spike factory at the round three. I, I've changed practically now because yeah, I got this uh, spike factory but having less life. But in this game I actually learned from my mistakes instead of prioritizing something which I'm going to be needing in 10 rounds time, I prioritize for something which I need now, like bigger spikes, faster production, more spike factories, and I still try to have some save over some money 
me to level up into having some rental space because you know, that's still going to happen quite early on but what I decided to do is prioritize for more popping power and I continued to play like this and I actually survived the round 39 which that's already a huge improvement by my standards. What I should also mention is I think by still by the time I'm recording this gameplay I still haven't upgraded like anything in the monkey lab or I haven't even put like the main building you know that the main new second is usually the power up my tower is even more so this is still like pre-upgrading from this is still like raw as I can possibly get uh, and I also decided to upgrade into this funny ball upgrade I only like later on as I was trying to recall this I discovered this, that this does more damage to ceramics uh, at the time I just thought you know that it gave me like more popping power to everything but not just ceramics I mean it uh, did help me out in the game so it's a win-win just not a win-win as, as I thought it would be <laughs> As the game advanced more, I tried to turn some of my uh, spike fractures into like specific more shredders so I could be able to deal with them much easier. But I still got overwhelmed by the end of the game. I mean, I, I, I did left 15 more rounds, so that's definitely an improvement, but kind of sad I wasn't able to complete it though. Alright, so now we can officially say that during this fall on the hard mode, impossible. But it might be possible with a few upgrades, like it might be possible with like a not too much upgrades. I will see how that goes. Well, I did went further, just not 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 high enough. <laughs> and unfortunately, this is where the video ends. Now I was not able to clear the entire monkey lane stage on hard difficulty only using Spec Factory. I'm not saying that it's impossible. I believe if everything is maxed out, like from a specialized building to possibly having a few gods upgraded the monkey lab, I do believe that it is possible to go for the monkey lane. With only Spike Factory, I I'm going to be trying that for the next video because there's definitely going to be a second part to this video. Um, I do already have like the challenge Spike Factory that's a freebie that I can use, and I'm trying to go for some like building so I can have another attempt at this. As long as there's air in my lungs and a hole in my ass, I will not give up of trying to do that stage. I cannot take myself seriously sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, the next video I'm going to be going into fully upgraded Spike Factory building with freebie. We are actually from more freebie tiles, which I was kind of saving up the ba banana from and a uh, monkey village. This is why I said the start of the video, which there are lots of videos in this challenge. I, the reason which I haven't used them in this video is because money is kind of an issue in here, and when I go to freebies, I can bypass by that. But you're gonna have to wait for the next video to find out if I can beat this stage with only that. Well, stay tuned because I'm in hard work for that video.